I primarily got into this profession because I wanted to be outside. Um, I wanted to do something that bettered the environment. And the landscape architects are really looking at the big picture, looking outside of that site and how it fits into the community and how it's going to impact you know, the prairie or wetland or woodland that's, that's around it. I can go home feeling like I did something good for the environment. My name is Tori Christensen. I'm a landscape ecologist and project manager for Great River Greening. Great River Greening is a, a nonprofit that specializes in ecological restoration, uh, primarily in the Twin City metro area. Um, we do a lot of work with endangered species habitat. You know, one of the ways we get a lot of our, our restoration projects done is uh, by organizing these large volunteer events, really educating the public about the reasoning behind why some of these endangered species and rare plant and animal communities and why they're important um, for our state. A typical day at Great River Greening is I come in at 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning um, and I work a, you know, most days I'm working a, an eight hour day. Over the course of the year, I spend 50% of my time indoors in front of my computer, answering emails, phone calls, writing proposals for projects. And I spend the other 50% in the field. The typical day in the field, I could be doing anything from you know working alongside my crew or scoping out a project, determining you know what species of plants and animals are on a particular site. So, you know, prairie restorations, we'd be cutting trees out of prairies to open them up for certain grassland species. On the other end of the spectrum, I have um, woodland restorations where we're planting trees. I knew from an early age that I wanted to work outside. And so that led me to my, my undergraduate degree in environmental science and ecology. I ended up coming to the point where I wanted to find you know, my first real job. And I saw some orange construction fence along a river, Minnehaha Creek, and they were doing a river restoration. I kind of knew right from the beginning that that's what I wanted to do. I applied for a job right then and there, and they hired me. <laughs> it didn't take me long to figure out that you know, landscape architecture seemed to be the profession that, that, uh, that I needed to go back to school for and get a master's degree in. I came out with a professional degree in landscape architecture, but I was able to find a job right away um, actually for the landscape architecture firm that hired the company that I first worked for on the, that orange construction fence along Minnehaha Creek. I would say the Microsoft Office is a staple in everything I do. So uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I use those on a daily basis. We have to be able to create maps and strategize about where we're going to do our restoration work. And so I'll often create a map uh, with, with ArcMap to delineate these areas. And you can draw polygons on top of, of aerial photographs to, uh, to communicate graphically what we're going to do at a particular site. You know, a typical prairie restoration, we would have a tractor and a cedar behind that tractor and there's a whole spectrum of, of different implements that we would use behind that tractor. You know, as far as our volunteer events go, a lot of the work we do is back breaking, you know, good old-fashioned digging with shovels and, and hand trowels and whatnot. So, you know, a lot of our tree plantings are just, you know, a shovel and some dirt, you know. We engage um, on the order of 2,000 volunteers a year to help us get some of our restoration activities finished. You know, I'd say a good portion of what I do at Great River Greening is educating the public and teaching people that, yes, we do have, you know, 20-something different species of, of rare and endangered species in our state. Volunteering could be a good way to get in to this type of profession, but internships can be a good way, you know, once you get some type of educational background. Great River Greening hires several interns every year. I think there's no doubt that these careers are gonna grow in the future. I mean, we don't have a choice. It's either, you know, we put people to work doing this restoration work or we lose, you know, these, these species of animals and um, these rare plant habitats. 